Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. This is Tom from kudosoul.com. In the last video, I remember I said I'm going to do a mini project on my Vibrex slippers to change the color of the shoes and also change the heels because it was worn. Um, I finished the project a bit like maybe two or three days ago. I didn't have a time to film this video because I have other exams and I just had a lot of work to do. Now I have some free time so I decided to film this video. So uh, let me show you the final project first. Uh, which is right here. Look how beautiful this is. The color itself is beautiful and the heels are completely fixed. So I will explain how I did it. First, I went to a local cobbler. I currently live in Battersea, London. It's like southwest of London. And I was just looking around. There's, I just found a local cobbler named Alex. I went to his shop and he basically fixed the heel for me. It was a very quick job, uh, very cheap as well. I, I thought it was gonna be, you know, maybe 30, 40 quid, but it was around 20, 25 quid. And he did it in an hour. What a legend, he just fixed it very quickly. I thought it was gonna take a week or two, but I didn't even ask him to do it quickly because, you know, this was a project per se. So I thought it was gonna take a long time, but very quick, very quick job. I was very happy with how he did it. Uh, thank you, Alex, for doing it. However, one thing to mention is because he thought that the upper letter is going to stay beige. I'll show you the previous photo. He put a beige outsole as well. Nice of him for thinking about the color matching, blah, 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 because if it's, you know, black heels and upper is like a skin color, he probably, uh, it probably didn't look correct. So he put a beige color. Little did he know that I'm going to do a painting job or, and cover this with dye. But yeah, I think this looks really nice here as well. Matches the whole sole color. The heels are, you know, intact really well. It looks like it's really high quality. I'm very happy with what he have done. And before I move on to explaining about how I painted the upper, um, I wanted a darker colored loafers before I bought these because I didn't really like the color of these. Um, I mean, they were fine, but I wanted something else that's a bit more formal and something that I can wear to work or not even like, you know, two skin colored ones. I'm, but when I saw these Vibrox slippers, I really liked them and I bought them and then I wore them a lot. But now I wanted to change the color into something more, you know, darker and formal. And it's not going to be too dirty when I wear them a lot. So I chose light tobacco brown color from Sapir Tainture. And I also use Saphir Renomat to clean the upper as well. So Saphir Renomat was used before the dye to remove any gunk or dust at the upper because if there are any gunk or dust on the upper and when I paint over it, it's gonna create a problem over time. It could get dry, it could split the leather or whatever it was gonna happen. It could create problems. So therefore, I clean them up very nicely. If you see this video, uh, Safir Randomet is a very, very harsh, in my opinion, and strong chemical. It smells very strong as well. So I use mask and gloves to apply them on the top and very nicely all over the, um, the upper and I managed to clean the soles as well because the soles were pretty dirty from wearing these to beach a lot. And after that I let them dry for a bit and also if you see this video uh, there is some loose thread at the back uh, so I decided to burn them off with matches um, and, and then you know make sure that there are no more loose thread on the shoes. After the upper was completely dry probably took 30 minutes in the sun because it's an alcohol product anyway so it evaporated very quickly i remember i saw a tutorial on how to use these dyes so i used two coats of it at the top uh, because the tutorial said use double coating um, i didn't use any lightning agent i think that's why it turned out to be very uh, dark but i think this will create a beautiful patina overall in the end because um it's it's a coated dye so as i wear them more the dye will probably like evaporate or whatever like you know and then create some kind of patina i'm, I'm looking forward to that but for now it does look uh very very deep dark brown or tobacco brown dark tobacco brown color if you buy a saphir tincture it comes with a cotton a plier it's not very good um, I would recommend you to buy a paintbrush or use a paintbrush if you have any paintbrush nearby if you don't I just use my gloves after I painted them I just use my gloves to um, apply them overall so there isn't any 
uh, extra residue on the upper leather so it doesn't dry very badly. Uh, if you look at on the side here, it, you can see a bit of residue where it didn't do well on the um, rubbing or spreading the paint. But obviously you can't really tell from far away, so I'm not really bothered about that. I didn't paint the inside, so inside still has the same color as the upper that it used to do. Bit of a, a, a dye that I made a mistake on there, but it's fine. But yes, overall it turned out to be dark brown colored after drying for two hours. Uh, let me show you the photo here and now it looks like this so in conclusion I think it went very well the color is amazing I like the color I think one thing I did well is because I used a shoe tree that fits really well into the shoes I was able to target the crease area very well and clean the crease area and and you get the dye in there as well so that it Overall, it uh, doesn't have any area where you know it's too dark or too light. So overall, I think the color change was done pretty well. One thing I would maybe consider in the future is probably use lightning agent if I want to change the color because this is really dark. I was expecting more lighter brown, tobacco-ish brown. I mean, I don't really mind. I think it turned out pretty well, but if I want to have ex like a specific color, I'm not really good with colors because I haven't done arts and crafts since I was a kid. But yeah, I'll probably mix like lighting agents on top so that it, it so that I can create the color that I really want. And I would also recommend if you're just changing the heels, like just go to your local cobbler. You don't have to send them back to the original manufacturer. And this is not going to alter any uh, welting here. So uh, I know that Viberg re reconstruction or refurbishment is not very easy because I have to send them to Canada using local cobbler just for the heel. I don't know about the welt. He, he will probably do a good job. But yeah, for the heel. Uh, yeah, use them and support the local business. They do really good jobs Anyway guys, this was Tom. So yeah, this was surprisingly, you know good uh, Let me know what you guys think about these, you know, do you hate the color? What do you think about the color or do you think I could do a better job? Probably uh, Yeah, anyway, so this was the mini project that I wanted to do Please like this video subscribe to my channel. More review videos are coming because I bought more shoes. There was a sale going on. I had to buy more shoes. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos. Thank you.